Warning, the following video has a, some swear words, or whatever, so if you're at work, or, you know, your kids are in the room, or you're a kid, I suggest skipping over this video. Hi, I'm Metalhead Jimmy, and I'm back, and after a couple two days of long hard work, you know, doing carts or whatever, but today we're gonna we're back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about some bands that I can't stand. You know, it's like no matter what they do, you just can't get into them. Or you used to be into them, but now you grow older and you mature more and you just are like Ugh. You know, listening to heavy metal and going back to something like I don't know, rock or soft rock, it's hard to do. So yeah, we're gonna be once I get on down, we're just going to be doing these, so, yeah. So, to start off this list, we got Bon Jovi. Ugh, oh my god, living on the prep. I mean, don't get me wrong. When I first started in kindergarten, you know, and we'd have the rock station on, and you're, like, halfway down the shore, and you hear living on the prep, you're like, oh, I'm halfway there. Like, yeah, that's cool. But, you know... The thing with me is, I was into these guys when they started, but then it's like my dad hates them, my family hates them, hates the guy, and you know, when you go into, like, you're in the metal, like five, six years old, and then you go straight to hard rock throughout the whole, you just go hard rock and you kind of forget about metal. And you go back to something, and when you're 12, getting into like Megadeth, Slayer, Anthrax, Iron Maiden, Juice Prince, all the classics and thrash, you go back to something like Bon Jovi, and it just doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it anymore. Like, ugh. You know, every time they're on the radio, I gotta turn it off because I just can't listen to it anymore. Next, we got Guns N' Roses. Okay, you really shouldn't shock anybody at this point. Fucking Axl Rose gets on my nerves. And here's the thing when it comes to Roses. You know, I was into them when I was... This was another band I was into when I first started. And I kind of blew them off for a while. And then in the fourth grade, me and my friend were making fun of Sweet Child of Mine. which was just a great song to make fun of. And just Axl Rose, just... I hate whiny. I absolutely can't stand whiny vocals. And Axl Rose is just the king of whiny, you know. And don't get me wrong, you know, Slash and Duff Mahagen and everything. Everybody else in the band I can tolerate. Like, I love the whole Velvet Revolver thing. I love the Slash and Miles Kennedy. And uh, that stuff I can handle. It's just regular Guns N' Roses for some reason. It just, you know, I was into them. And then I was out of, this is the band I'm kind of in and out of. But, you know, when I was in the seventh grade, I had this friend who was, who worshipped the ground these dudes stood on. And it's like, they're not, they're like, all right, you know. So then I kind of got into them, kind of got back into them just because of him. And I had the whole Appetite for Destruction album, you know, Lies, and the... Uh, the 8th grade, which is the next year, this was the 7th grade. The 8th gr grade, I got the These Are Illusion albums. And I showed the picture of him, and he's like, Oh, yeah. I was like, You happy now? I got the These Are Illusion albums. He's like, What's your problem? I was like, I kind of wanted, like, Megadeth Countdown to Extinction or Rust in Peace. Instead, I bought the fucking two Illusion albums that aren't really that good. Next, we got Nirvana. God, the, you know, the douchebags that created grunge and killed hair bands, or killed hair metal, so to say, but, you know. Ugh, God, you know, this is another one. When I was going for, like, a grunge and hard rock phase my seventh grade year, you know, when I first started, I was in the Nirvana. I really like smells like Teen Spirit. I had the whole Nevermind album. I had Intro. I had 
Grace I had to unplug. I really liked Nirvana. But years later, you go back to that, and it's just like, ugh. God, shut up, Kurt. You so depressed. I mean, dude, just, don't get me wrong. I like the Foo Fighters, okay? Yeah, the Foo Fighters, I like some of their stuff. You know, we just lost, I think we just lost our guitar player or someone in there. But, God, Kirk Cobain just gets on my nerves. And the fact that it's overplayed, you know, like, it smells like Teen Spirit. It's not even that great of a song anymore. Next, we got Ghost DC. Okay, when these dudes came out, I wasn't into it. I probably wasn't into it. They came out when I was in, like, the first grade. And I probably just blew off their stuff, but, you know, these dudes were just, you know, on top of the charts. You know, 8th grade, when I was in the 8th grade, when they came out with their latest album, their old stuff was playing on the radio. And getting radio play again, and I'm just like, eh, like everybody's going at bad shit crazy for Ghosty C. And I'm just like... Trying to get into more thrash and death metal and deathcore at this point. And I go to something like Ghost DC. I mean, they're not even that good. They're like an alternative metal band. It's not that great. Next we got Fleetwood Mac. Don't get me wrong. I love Fleetwood Mac. I used to. But recently, you know, I went back. Listening to a bunch of CDs I haven't listened to in a while, and I did this back in September, October, and I went back to Flea with Matt Grace Hitch. I haven't touched that since the tenth grade. I go about the listening to it, and it's like, ugh. you know, I used to love Gypsy. I used to love Lance. I used to love Flea with Mac. Now they're just like, ugh. I mean, and it's not so much Stevie Nicks as that other douchebag. Who does like main vocals like fucking whiny douche? Next we got My Chemical Romance. Yeah, on the topic of whiny, and My Chemical Romance and the whole fucking emo thing. God, yo, know, that mind space bullshit. You know, don't get me wrong, I was around for like the 2010s, 2009, but back then I was in the hard rock. So a band like My Chemical War, you see this shit. And then I was also into like the deathcore. Like I loved when you would see a video on YouTube that would just be like, Whoa! and because I found that shit hilarious for some reason. But My Chemical War, oh, yeah. oh, no. okay. There's a bunch of fucking douchebags. And I, you know, I said once again, I can't stand whiny. God, I mean. The whole emo thing just doesn't, doesn't, oh, God, it's just awful. You know, I got a friend who listens to the emo shit and worships emo. I was just like, they're not even that great. Next, we got Green Day, you know, it's another one I was trying to get into and just, ugh, no, they don't do it for me. All right, next, we got Steelheart. You know, I can tolerate. I'll never let you go. You know, you hear that on Hair Nation or whatever. But anything else they do is just awful. So we got Jackal. Another jack off, okay? <laughs> Jackal, jack off, get it? Oh, God. Down on me. I feel like the lumber. T and you hear this on Hair Nation and Ozzy's Boneyard. And they're not even that good. He's got that voice that's like, ah, bah, 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 bah. like Who the fuck wants to listen to that? So we got Faith No More, you know, I tried getting into these dudes. But they were all like, eh. You know, I like Epic, I can tolerate Epic, but other, other, anything else by them is just me. It's so got Baby Metal. Alright, shouldn't shock anybody at this point. Uh, you know, a bunch of Girl, Asian girls trying to write some shit about Godzilla. You know, it's racist as hell, but you know, whatever. As we got the Beastie Boys, you know. Back in the third grade, you know, me and my other friend would, you know, watch music videos. I really was into them. 
But, you know, you go back to that stuff years later, and they're just not that great. Next, we got Rush. I mean, Mastodon. The fact that people compare these dudes to the Lamb of God, and they're just, just a bunch of soft metal. Yeah. Next, we got Rush. You know, I tried getting into these dudes. I really did. But, you know, for the most part, they just don't do it for me. Uh, you know, I like, uh, I can tolerate Tom Sawyer and Lamline. Anything else is just, ugh. Next, we got Five Figure Death Punch. And don't get me wrong, you know. I love the whole Lift Me Up with Rob Halford when that came out. I was into it. Anything else is just, eh. Next, we got Tom Petty. You know, this is another one that gets too much radio play. You know, like, we know you want to punch the radio every single time. Or, like, ugh, shut up. You suck. I don't care if you're dead or not. Your music fucking sucks balls. Next, we got Linkin Park. Another fucking whiny bitch. Well, don't get me wrong. I love, uh, what's that one song? I love so I like some of their stuff, you know. I'm about to break. That one's good. Uh, some of it's okay. Most of it is just whiny, new metal. Next we got U2. All right, I like Pride without a name. I could tolerate that one, but anything. I mean, the guy just gets my nerves. All right, let's see what we got next. Red Hot Chili Peppers, another one. Can't stand. Oh. I forgot to mention this at the beginning. Um, so Venge Sevenfold isn't on this list. But it doesn't mean they get a pass. Okay. Um, they absolutely suck. Okay. But it doesn't mean they get a pass on here. Got Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay. <laughs> get away, get away. They're not even metal. Or rock. They're not even rock. They're more like rap. They actually got a bowling for soup. Bunch of fat guys trying to make music. Okay. Ugh. Aerosmith. No, no, okay, next. Next we got Radiohead. I'm a creep. I'm a whiner. Ugh. Next we got Aerosmith, you know. This is a band I really, really tried getting into. I mean, I really did. I tried their earlier stuff. I tried their newer stuff. I just can't do it. I can't do it with them for some reason. Okay, next. We got Nickelback. You know, it doesn't shock anyone. I'm sure this is like number one on most people's list. But... Look at this food and grin. Every time it makes me farf. Next we got. Finally we got the doors. Another one. I tried so hard. I really did. I tried with these guys. But it's the fact that they're like. You know. Another one that gets all that attention for no reason. Next, we got Sepatora. Ugh. You know, I can tolerate a rise. You know, that's a good fast one. Roots play Roots is just okay. I feel like these guys can't really tell what they want to be. <laughs> they just can't. They can't tell what they want to be. Okay, next, we got... Finally, we got Crowbar. You know, one of the worst death metal bands ever. And yeah, that's going to... Include today's little rant. It's just these bands, they don't do it for me. They really don't. I find some of these I try to get into. You know, Guns N' Roses, I gave them a thousand chances, but you know, they're just, they don't do it. And yeah, to conclude today's video, hope you all enjoy it. You know, like, subscribe, favorite, or whatever. Yeah.